right, so welcome. We've got about 10 minutes remaining for yoga break. We're getting started a little late today. Sometimes that happens. And so you might find a seat, maybe sitting in a chair or on the floor. And you're welcome to do as much or as little of this as you like. So maybe lengthening your spine to the sky. You might be lengthening your spine to the sky, maybe noticing your breath. So you might notice your breath. Maybe noticing the pacing of your breath. Like are there are your inhales and exhales similar in length or do they seem different? And you might just notice the breath. You might notice movement in your body as you breathe, maybe noticing movement in your belly or chest or throat, maybe in your nose or mouth. And you might turn your head to one side. So you might be turning your head to one side. So you might be turning your head to one side maybe turning it part of the way, or you might turn it as far as you can. You have a choice. And maybe bringing your head back to center if it was turned to the side, and maybe turning your head the other way. So you might be turning your head to one side perhaps turning it part of the way, or maybe turning it as far as it goes. You have a choice. And if your head is turned to the side, you might bring it back to center and maybe tilting your head to one side. So you might be tilting your head to one side Maybe so that your ear is moving in the direction of your shoulder. Maybe noticing sensation in the side of your neck. Or you might notice it somewhere else. Or maybe not at all. And if your head is tilted to the side, you might bring it back to center. And maybe tilting your head the other way. So you might be tilting your head to one side, maybe noticing the breath. And if your head is tilted to the side, you might bring your head back to center and perhaps moving your shoulders. So you might move your shoulders by rolling them, maybe rolling them forward or rolling them back. Another option could be to lift and lower your shoulders. You have a choice. And maybe if you're moving your shoulders, you might bring them back to center and perhaps reaching one arm up to the sky. So you might lift one arm up overhead and one option is to stay here. Another option might be to lean to the other side. So you might be leaning to one side, maybe placing your bottom hand on the chair or your leg. You have a choice. And if you're leaning to the side, you might lift back up to center and perhaps releasing, and you're welcome to switch sides. So maybe lifting your other arm up overhead. So you might have one arm lifted towards the sky, and you could lean to one side. So one option might be to stay lifted. One option might be to lean to the side. You have a choice. If you're leaning to the side, you might lift back up to center. And if your arm is lifted, you might release. And perhaps turning your torso to the right. 
So you might be turning your torso to the right and you could place your left hand on your right leg. Maybe placing your right hand on the chair. And perhaps noticing sensation across your torso, maybe on the front or back of your body. You might notice it somewhere else. Or maybe not at all. And perhaps returning back to center. You're welcome to switch sides. So you might turn the other way. So you might be turning to one side maybe placing your opposite hand on the leg that you're turning towards. Maybe noticing the breath. And if you're turning to one side, you might turn back to center and perhaps placing your hands on your legs. One option might be as you're inhaling, you might move your belly forward, maybe lifting your chest up, perhaps lifting your chin. And maybe as you're exhaling, you might round your spine, perhaps lowering your chin to your chest. And you're welcome to do that again. Maybe as you're inhaling, you might move your belly and chest forward, perhaps lifting your chest and your chin up. As you're exhaling, you might round your spine, maybe lowering your chin to your chest. And you're welcome to do that one more time. And you might make your way back to seated and perhaps extending one leg out in front of you. So you might extend one leg out in front of you and you could place your foot on the floor, you place your heel on the floor, you might have your legs straight, and you might lengthen your spine to the sky. Another option might be to fold forward. So you could fold forward, maybe placing your forearms or your hands on your legs. Another option could be to place your hands on the floor. You have a choice. You're welcome to notice the breath. And perhaps bringing your leg back in if it was extended, and you might switch sides. So if your body allows, you might extend your other leg out in front of you. So one option might be to have your feet together. Another, another option might be to have one leg out in front of you. Maybe lengthening your spine to the sky. And you could stay here. Another option could be to hinge at your hips. So you might fold forward, maybe placing your arms or hands on your leg. Or you could place your hands on the floor. You have a choice. Maybe noticing the breath. And if you're folded forward, you might lift back up. And perhaps you might cross one leg over the other. So you might bring one ankle over your other thigh. And maybe staying here, you might lengthen your spine to the sky perhaps opening your, your top knee to the side. And you're welcome to notice your breath. Maybe noticing sensation in your belly and chest as you breathe. I just noticed I was holding my breath, so if you notice that, you might invite your breath back in. And if your leg is crossed over, you might release it and perhaps shifting sides. So you could cross your other leg over. So you might have one leg crossed over the other, maybe opening your knee to the side. 
And you're welcome to notice the breath. Notice that it's it's 12.15, so I'm, I'm going to offer just a couple more minutes. I know we got started late. If you have to go, I just wanted to let you know the time. But you're welcome to stay a little longer if you like. And if your leg is crossed over, you might release. And perhaps placing both feet on the floor, you might lengthen your spine to the sky, and then maybe leaning back. So you might lean back slightly. So maybe your, your torso is lifted off of the, the chair. So you, you might have your torso lifted off of the chair, but you might have your buttocks down and you might be leaning back. Maybe noticing some sensation in your abdominals. You might notice it somewhere else. Maybe not at all. And if you're leaning back, you might lift back up to center. And perhaps bringing the palms of your hands together in front of your heart. So you might bring your hands together at heart center. And you're welcome to, as you're inhaling, you might reach your arms up overhead. And as you're exhaling, you might bring your arms down and around by your sides. And you're welcome to keep your arms where they are, or as you're inhaling, you might reach your arms overhead. Maybe as you're exhaling, you might bring your arms down and around by your sides and back together in front of your heart. And you're welcome to do that a few more times, either with me or at your own pace. Maybe as you're exhaling, you might bring your arms down and around and back to center. Maybe inhaling, you might reach your arms overhead. And perhaps as you exhale, you might bring your arms down and around and back by your sides. Perhaps doing one more wherever you are, you might inhale, perhaps reaching up overhead. And maybe as you exhale, you might bring your arms down and around and by your sides, maybe back to heart center. And you're welcome to keep your hands there, or you might place your hands on your legs. Maybe lengthening your spine to the sky. And we'll pause here and rest for about a minute. For the first part of the minute, I will offer um, some breathing. So you might notice your breath. And you might notice the pacing of your breath, like are your inhales and exhales similar in length or are they different? You might keep your breath as it is. Another option might be to equal out your breath. So maybe you're inhaling to count to four. One, two, three, four. Then maybe as you're exhaling, you might count to four. One, two, three, four. And you might keep doing that, perhaps choosing any number that you like to count to or any speed that you'd like to count. Perhaps inviting your inhales and exhales to be equal in it. Another option is to allow your breath to be as it is. You might allow yourself to take a few more breaths and I'll quiet my voice for about 15 seconds as we breathe. And you're welcome to continue breathing this way or to stay resting where you are longer. It's been my pleasure to guide our practice today. Peace. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for practicing. And I look forward to seeing you Tuesdays at noon. Thank you to Veterans Network for hosting me on Tuesdays at noon. It's really an honor to get to serve. 
Um, I also have the video live on YouTube. So if you um, go to my Instagram from my profile on Clubhouse, you can find the link to my Instagram there and then my link tree will, will take you there. It does appear there might be some technical difficulties right now, so I'm going to take a look at that today and clear anything up um, as much as I can before next.